really trying not to touch my face after a video starts, but sorry. Um, hey guys, it's me, Blue. I am super excited. I'm sorry if my voice kind of cuts up. My throat's been kind of sore lately, and I'm hoping I'm not coming down with something. But I wanted to share my library haul with you. And no, it's on the floor, so you're going to see me kind of duck out of camera every once in a while to get more books. But I picked up 14 books yesterday from the library. Our, book, our library usually gets delivers every Wednesday, so I'll probably have more next week. <laughs> what usually happens is when I have to put something into our library system, I have to use my phone and type. I, I don't like typing like words on my phone, and then I have to do a full search for what's going on, and then it just becomes too long and too much of a headache to look for books that frequently. So I usually don't look for unless I need something for a readathon, which at this point we're doing the magical readathon. So of course I need books. And I usually don't get access to computers. I have my own little laptop, but I usually don't go on it that often because usually it's distracting. Anyway, so I had access to the computers at the library this past week or last week. And uh, I ordered 20 books. <laughs> so 14 of them have come in so far. So I thought I would share with you what's going on. Now I checked my, my TBR list. I have in my, this is my, my book journal. And in my journal I have, as you can see, this is my to be read list. Some of them are longer than others. Some of them are quite short. <laughs> Some of them have hardly any. I think there's one that only has like one book on it and I haven't even read it yet. <laughs> anyway, so because of that, because that's a little bit crazy, I have 187 books on my list. So I'm using, I use the computer and I just put in as many as I could to see what happens. So I thought it would be fun to go through not only some of my TBR list, some of my uh, magical readathon list with you because I am actually checking off things on my magical readathon. For those of you who don't know the magical readathon, I'm going to leave a link to G's um, announcement in the video in the description below from Book Roast. She's really funny. She created this. She created, I, I don't even think I could find it. Nope, I've left it over there. But I have a whole booklet <laughs> of that she has made that I've printed off and bound because I wanted to make sure that I had it on hand. Now, I'm doing The Alchemist. Number one, because it was the first one, and number two, because it's the most challenging. Um, last year when I did the readathon, I did 11 books, and this year I'm going for all 12. I was one day short, so this year I'm like, this year I figured I can, I can do all 12. The unfortunate thing is with the newts, I have to do 17, which again shouldn't be a problem since last year I did 16. Anyway, so this is my page for The Alchemist. As you can see, killing it. And I chose to, because I live in North America, I chose to do uh, Ilvermory instead of Hogwarts. Not that Hogwarts isn't amazing, because it is, but I wanted to rep my own. Anyway. But because of that, I did my page in all blue and red, which is their school colors, and I thought that was really cool. So, as you can see, I've done Fangirl. I did Fangirl as a, uh, an audiobook. <laughs> Sorry, I, haven't, I have yet to have coffee, so my brain is not where it should be. But I've also done, I did Starcrossed for Astronomy. Don't recommend it, not a good book. Um, they both die at the end. For divination the my charms book was a darker shade of magic and my defense against the dark arts it was renegades so i'm working my way through a couple of the other books but it's a lot of fun so i'm going to uh get to the books i'm reading why i'm reading them because some of them were recommended for other reading challenges and maybe some of them aren't for any reading challenge and it's just going to be to cross something off my tbr list anyway so we're going to move on to that <sighs> that one I requested a couple, I got a couple of weeks ago just on a whim because it's a cozy mystery and it's got a cat on the cover. Okay. So last year I read, I had the honor of reading Dorothy Must Die. A friend of mine 
Jennifer recommended it to me and I totally fell in love with the series. I like any series that puts kind of a weird spin on the classic story. And so I've been reading a lot of retellings. And so um, one of the things that I have to do for my Magical Readathon is a retelling. And this was the original plan was that I was going to read this as a, you know, continuation of a retelling. But I might do that one for potions for my sequel because this is the last book in the Dorothy Must Die series. And of course that makes it a sequel. But also because the sequel that I wanted to read hasn't come in yet. So might knock that one off for that one. Um, this one, okay. Last year for the Pop Sugar Readathon, I had to read a book that had an alliterative title. And I chose this. I chose originally to do Red Rising because it's got werewolves and a friend of mine recommended it. And it's one that I really wanted to read anyway. So it got added to my to read list. And then I didn't get a chance to read it last year and I read Roses and Rot instead, which is again, good book. But this is my Red Rising that I finally ordered. So I'm hoping, it also has red on the cover, which I could probably use for my transfiguration, something with sprayed edges or red on the cover. We'll see. So I've got that one. <laughs> um, I needed to read something, I need to read something with more than one author. And someone recommended this one to me. I've read some Jay Kristoff stuff. Um, I'm not really a fan, I have to admit. I just, maybe his writing style isn't for me and that's okay. I know a lot of people who really like his style. Um, I did enjoy a lot of Nevernight. I just, it wasn't my style of book and you know, that's okay. We don't all like the same books. So the fact that Jay Kristoff is one of the co-authors in this one, a little bit trepidatious, but I have read books that are by authors I don't like and enjoyed them. So we'll have to see what happens. So I've got that one on my list for two authors. This one, last year, I'm going back a lot. This TBR list has been ongoing for a while. Anyway, um, last year I had to read a book by that was in a celebrity book club and I think Reese Witherspoon did it in her book club but I know that was in a couple of book clubs so I've got little fires everywhere I have no idea what this is about I'm super excited because it's one that like I said has been on my TBR for a while I have a lot of books <laughs> and they are not all small so hopefully it doesn't get to the point where they're, I get to see you over my books we'll have to see. This is going to be a fun adventure. Okay, uh, this one was recommended to me at, in October for obvious reasons, and that is The Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein. Again, don't know what it's about. It's got Frankenstein in the cover. Frankenstein right in the title. That makes me happy, so I don't know. Again, these are mostly books that people have kind of recommended that I have to read for one reason or another and I kind of just write them down and then I get them. So that's how my TBR list works. <laughs> um, okay, this is another one. I don't know if I have to read, um, I'm sure on one of my TBRs I have to read one by two female authors. In the life of me, I cannot remember. But this is another option for the, I'm sorry, my nose is really itchy, um, for the more than one author category. The Guernsey Liter Literary and Petito, potato start that over the Guernsey literary and potato peel pie po society I almost didn't make that one but it looks like it's really good and it's one that I really wanted to read somebody several people have recommended that one to me and I think I was originally going to get it because it has a fruit or vegetable in the title with potato and then I changed that to another book but that was last year's pop sugar reading challenge Going back to the retelling, I told you that I had to read two books with the same title, and so I picked up Sadie, the Amish retelling of Snow White, which I really enjoyed, and I really, I liked the spin on it. It was really interesting. But of course, it's not standalone. So I now have Belle, which is the Amish retelling of Beauty and the Beast, and I also have, um, da da da, Ella, the Amish retelling of Cinderella. So I'm excited to see what these two books, you know, what's going to happen in both of those books. Apparently they're not like 
they all kind of take place at the same time. Like it's not one right after another, right after another. They're all kind of retold in the same kind of time period. So, which is kind of cool. So if you read one, you're not missing out by reading other stories. Um, do, 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 do. This one I had to do, when I did the, the um, princess, oh my goodness, what was it? It was a book battle based on fairy tale princesses and we had to tell a retelling. And so I went online and looked up decent retellings and this one popped up on my feed several times and I really, really wanted to read it. And I know that it was recommended by, oh my goodness, what is her name? I don't remember her name, but another booktuber. And she absolutely gushed about it and she's super excited and was, was really enthusiastic about it. So it's one that I really wanted to check out because I really respect her as a booktuber. And I'll leave her links below. And I cannot think of her name at the moment. I follow a lot of booktubers, but I can't remember her name. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. Um, I have to read, um, for the Golden Trio, I have to read, I, my journal is covered by books. For the Golden Trio, <laughs> I have to read books that have, um, been recommended by different houses and books that have the traits of different houses. So based on that, um, I'm pretty sure this one was recommended by a Ravenclaw, whose name I cannot remember. Again, I'm sorry. <laughs> she was another booktuber who recommended it to me. And I'm super excited. I think I've read Cat Howard before, but I don't remember. But that one's been kind of on my list for a while. Anyway, An Unkindness of Magicians. And, do, 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 I know I have more stuff in here. This one, somebody told me that this one has Slytherin traits in it which has me really excited because I need to read a book like that so I'm super excited to pick this one up I have again I don't know what they're about somebody recommends it for one reason or another and it just gets added to my list and then I get excited so I gotta knock these books out somehow so there's that one and then um doo -doo -doo -doo. got some cozy more cozy mysteries have I done 14 yet how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 13 and the closing mystery so that's all 14 okay so these I don't even know why these were recommended to me but my library doesn't have them in book form they only have them in audiobooks so the only time I can listen to audiobooks is when the kids aren't in the house because I need to come and do the TV uh, my last two books are <laughs> One that is going to look a little misleading, and that's Fifty Shames of Earl Grey. And it kind of is a parody of Fifty Shades of Grey. And I'm kind of excited to read that. I don't know who put that on my feed like last year, but it kind of got me excited. So there's that one. But unfortunately, I can only find it in audiobook, so that'll be an interesting listen. And finally, this one, again, two years ago, so this path cross my path and I honestly don't remember <laughs> where and it's uh the storied life of AJ Fickery and I'm super excited about that one too the back says no man is an island every book is a world and I kind of love that a lot so that's it and as you can see <laughs> just barely out of camera view so that's kind of what's going on so that's my library haul, with the exception of a cozy mystery, which has to do with crocheting, which you don't have to worry about. So that's kind of my TBR list for the next week. Wish me luck. <laughs> next, how many days it takes me to get through these. Support your local library, knowledge is power, and we'll see you next week. Or soon. I hope. <laughs> Bye.